Hello everyone, this is Olympus Silly Man. You might be wondering why I'm here and not in the computer I was in last time. There is a very specific reason. I was chip grinding in this computer and the other computer where I demonstrated the the poofy viruses. Anyhow, here we have a new virus, the water vulgar. I believe I've, I'm not so sure if I've demonstrated the fire vulgar, though I'll demonstrate the water vulgar right here. I'll go, oh, I'll try to defeat him with the, the own ch with the chips that I got. Anyhow, anyhow, let's see if I can time this right. Dang it, just missed it. Yeah, the Aqua Tower does more damage at 120 than the Fire Tower. However, it doesn't last as long, meaning if I use the Fire Tower, it could actually last long enough to for me to score a hit, as I'll probably try to demonstrate. There. 6, 4, 2, 0. And they essentially work just as they demonstrate. They go one panel at a time in front of each other. And depending on how, whether or not you move up or down, they'll probably move up or down to follow you. And the fire ones last longer than the wood than the aqua ones. However, the aqua ones do more damage. And I got another aqua tower. I think I'm pretty good on aqua towers, though. However, I just did that to demonstrate them. Anyhow, well, let's talk to you. Welcome to the Thailand. Here we are using the power of science to improve our life. Can I help you? Yes. You're Dr. Hikari's son. I think he's in his lab. Wanna go? Well, yes. Then please use that elevator. The elevator program will take you there automatically. The elevator doors opened. Anyhow, Jacket Mega Man EXE transmit. Now this is one of the reasons why I was doing so much chip grinding. Why for these all for these chips? They are pretty awesome and they're pretty useful and for the viruses in here. Here we got a high cannon J. I wanted to demonstrate that. And so I'll replace the spreader. Mainly so it can go along with the high cannon I and I am a test navy, we developed new PETs here. I heard that a new kind of navy was being developed was developed here. I'd love to meet it. I heard that it uses new and Oops, I almost gave away some top secret information. Here we have some new viruses, Ratty. The way that raddies work are, they essentially have two main distinctions. One is the raton missiles that can, that can, if you're, or if, if, you, if they're accurate enough with them, target you and move, and move forward, but then move up or down, depending on where you are. And I actually got the chip to demonstrate it. <laughs> I'll probably remove the sword right now. So essentially, the main thing also is about the rat viruses is that after half health, they'll start going a bit faster. However, they will. However, that that does mean that they're much harder to actually hit. Now let's talk to you. Doctor Hikari has given us emotion. We now laugh and get mad and worry like humans do. Is that not the defining condition of humanity? I would agree so, however, very ironic in spite of all the sci-fi movies where humanoid robots and software and all that have been main antagonists. Spoiler alert for those who do not actually know this series well enough. They don't... that's not the main concern in this specific game. Or most of the games in this series as a matter of fact. Anyhow, here we have the other kind of viruses. We've already seen these handies, however, I don't think I've ever demonstrated them in actual detail, so now I'll actually let them demonstrate themselves. And I'll probably save the heater, ch and I'll probably stand here and save the heater chip for a more opportune strike, considering that, considering if you let those time bombs last, they essentially last three seconds and that timer tells you how much. I'll probably just get rid of a sword right now, see if I can build up some more aqua towers. Essentially, yeah, they just teleport there and then they manually walk back. Also, they take, in spite of the level, every single chip takes 10, it takes exactly 10 HP to destroy me. You can just easily do that with a buster. I mean, I guess not so easily if you're using the typical level 1 non-charged shot. Yes, it worked. 
yeah, the timing on the hitboxes can be a little bit tricky. And essentially that's everything that's in this PC. Now... Time for... Me getting the program. Okay, I'm ready. Anyhow, I'm just a caretaker program, not your dad's navy. Mega Man's power program? It's not here. It must be in your father's VET. Lan, he said he doesn't have my power up program. Ah oh, well, let's just leave him a message. Click, click, click. Okay, give this to him, Mega Man. Okay, Mega Man gave Lan's mail to the caretaker program. Okay, give that to Lan's dad. I have the message for your father. And in that, other than that, we also have Mega Man access to mystery data. Mega Man got at Dad. Use this item at the access point to this computer for free access between it and the net. In addition, instead of wild virus encounters in this computer, we have... This is a virus machine. You can use it for training. It will create a virus according to your Navi's power, meaning stats and nothing to do with chips. Want to try some virus busting? Sure. Since we didn't really collect that many power-ups... Piece of cake. And I got a Shockwave C. I probably don't need to put that. Anyhow, you, I'm just gonna do that once for demonstration, though. The thing that the thing that the virus machine does is it essentially generates viruses that you can that can give you either Zenny or chips. And we're already at the first floor. Anyhow, there is still something to do outside in the Scilab. Well, it's outside of the Scilab, but. technically still part of the government complex. I'm actually feeling rather hungry, so let's see. Would you like an all-natural lunch? Yes, I would. Here you go. Man ate a tasty and nutritious lunch. Hmm, I kinda like you. My name is Sal. I work with the net to protect nature. There are so many viruses about lately. Would you like to practice net battling with me? Land, would you like to challenge out? I'll actually say no to that for one specific reason. At times, you must fight in order to protect nature. Essentially, when I, the reason I'm gonna do that is because I want to pause the recording stream right now and then say and then save things. The main reason being is this is often what gets me, even with my advanced chips, and so I want to be able to save before that, just so I don't have to go through the tedium of recording the entire section that I recorded before this again. I actually had to do that several times before I came up with this idea, so in any case, I'm gonna pause the re I'm gonna stop this recording stream and then gonna adjunct it to another one, alright? Just so you are aware of the split. However, this is on the Fistulum, and... Sorry for making a big explanation for a simple break in the video. Would you like a natural lunch? Oh, it's you! Man, would you like to challenge Elliot? I shall show you the power of nature. Woodman, come forth. Cool, I got a fireman and fire tower. First of all, let's start things off to a blazing start. Consider and being very thankful that fire does double damage against wood, considering this guy can be pretty tanky. However, he does not flinch and he does not have any invincibility frames. His main attacks involve, yeah, jumping around and flashing certain panels, which you're supposed to learn to avoid. Yes, he landed right on one. However, when he's doing that animation, he also is able to create several chain flashing panels in a row, and also, he can, after when he hits half health or below, he's able to plant seeds, one seed that that creates a fire, that creates a wood tower. Yes, there's a wood type tower too. And also, one that creates And also, we can create a healing tree after. In any case, 2,000 zennies. Oops, looks like I lost. I guess that I'm safe in giving this to you. Langot slash Sal. Use this on the net to expand the area you can access. You can use that to get into the net around here. There's a merchant selling armor. Why don't you visit him? Please help me by protecting nature. 
Anyhow, it's pretty odd. I think also that that in the that in the Scilab Center the old guy was also talking about hour. But in any case, let's jack in here. There are some pretty goody. There are some pretty good items here, but there are also some pretty tricky viruses. I'm just warning. That yeah, is a warning. Yeah. Here we have the dynamite virus. Which I'm going to take out immediately, mainly because it's more problematic. It can deal some pretty intense damage. And we also have this popper, which likes to hide up and then change its position. However, <laughs> and then I also plant wood towers. Let's see if I can get a chip from that. That seems like a good enough thing. But blasted, it's not. Anyhow, I got at Sal, which is awesome. And I'm getting recover 120A. I am definitely adding that to the folder. That is definitely in it. I'm probably just gonna have to replace the invisible one. And I'm jacking out for now. Now there are two more things that I want to be able to show in this recording. I'd like to go to ACDCs, that's because they're the only places I actually have any connections already. Lanny got mail. Email. Oh, it's Dad, he replied that quickly. Sorry I was busy when you came to visit, but I had some good news. I managed to compress the power program for Mega Man I was talking about. Enjoy. Lang got a power up. HP memory. That's excellent. Lang got a power up. Power up. Don't forget to use the menu to equip power up. P.S. Always listen to your mom. Of course, mom always comes first. Anyhow, time to equip the power up. I'm probably gonna improve the. I'm not so sure whether I have to improve the attack or the charge. Or probably. Uh, the charge is pretty good. I'll probably improve the attack. <laughs> of course, it might drive some people a bit. Nuts to with the fact that it deals three and not an even number. <laughs> but numbers are beside. But numbers are behind us now that we beat Bigsby. <laughs> of course, the viruses here are uh, really pushovers now that we have higher level chips. And apparently this S rank actually gives me a chip. <laughs> I know a lot of them just choose to give me high amounts of Zenny. Did that seriously happen? <laughs> I was just at the terminal. Yeah. But in any case. Let's keep on going to expand the net. Now here I'm supposed to actually expand the... Here we actually have several things. And here we have the fire type sortie. Let's see if you can give us the fire sword chip we want. Last hit it's any. Also... If you go here, we'll find. Oh no, that was somewhere else. I thought we could find the random, the set encounter for Stone Man too. But in any case, right? I think that was somewhere around here. And here we have normal sorties. What the sorties can do is pretty simple. They try to move over to the front of the row, and then they can use either one of two attacks. I'll have this sortie demonstrate them. Oh, wait, I have 260 HP. That means I already did. I almost forgot that along with my chip grinding, I actually did go and... If you remember that in that merchant who you bought power-ups from originally, I almost forgot to mention in the recording that I did buy power-ups from him along with chip grinding. I unfortunately did forgot to mention that in the previous recording. I'll probably... I'll probably have Elsino Nemo put that as a text box in the beginning to indicate that. I'm 
and occasionally the other attack was a simple wide sword. And yes, I got long sword D. Fly Shockwave is not the most useful thing here. It says me use link required for access. Access denied. Well, I'm in the wrong place again. Man, this can be convoluting. I'm supposed to look for Sal's place. <laughs> This should hopefully take care of everything fast enough, I'm hoping. And yes, I got the Fire Sword B. I'll probably have this replace the Wide Sword, considering this does 100 damage and is Fire Element, so... Yeah, there are Elemental Swords in here. Now let's go up. And more viruses again! Of course, I like selecting several chips. Dang it! Ah! Yes, I managed to lure it properly. Of course, I'm not actually looking for the chips here. Yeah, where was I supposed to be going? Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned the mine layer with the Stone Man video, but... If I didn't, what it essentially does is it places a random mine somewhere. I'm presuming it's the panel right behind this one. However, that would be uh, a bit of a stretch of an assumption. And it doesn't actually move, and that's all it does. Meaning, on its own, it can be pretty useless once you're in a position where you're, even your buster can take it out. However, its chip, however, its chip is really awesome. Also, it can be pretty problematic when you have other enemies that require you to move around. And again, and with you hardheads, I'll demonstrate the longsword on you. Considering the longsword attacks the panel in front of you and the panel in front of that. However, the hardhead can only be attacked can only be intact in the short window that his mouth is open. I'm going to give a open. Wonderful timing, I'm gonna have to hope right now. Or another thing can hopefully get me in a get in that position. Why is there such a- why was there a delay on that chip command that it didn't actually execute? But in any case... Yeah, the hard hit can be a real pain because of the fact that they're completely invulnerable most of the time. And so now you're gonna combine that with a Volgear. Wonderful. Now let's see if I can get the timing down on both of you. Yes, I did. Another fire tower, though, to be honest. <clears throat> I already have a lot of those, as you probably already know. And again with a swordy. I already have the long sword, and I believe that. You, yeah, I also got to mention that the that with lower busting ranks you can actually get the special sword and wide sword and normal sword and normal wide sword from those hmm, hold on let's see if I can do this now I don't even have to move so there's absolutely no risk of the mine and plus it was it didn't even succeed in placing one no, I do not believe it gains invincibility at all while it places the mine. It just stops time, just to represent the mine being the mine being placed. Oh, we have more fishies. I think I'll just take damage for everyone and 
give damage to everyone I need. Hmm. Yeah, this might be a problem. Yeah, considering I think it's the ah, and yes, I predicted it correctly. I meant to do this, then that, but thankfully the mines do not respawn. Obviously, so now you're playing and placing another mine to make up for the one that you lost. I'm presuming it was in the same spot as last time, and so I'm just gonna take you out very quickly. Eighties and easy. Yeah, that was a pretty bad one. No, I think I'm supposed to go here for the correct access link. Yeah, I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait to time this one right. Considering now my buster takes out 10 HP faster than it did before. Now, presuming it's in the very corner, but that won't really matter. Anyhow, time to... Yes, I got the mine one! I'll probably get rid of a long sword because it's not all that useful compared to mine one. It essentially hides a mine in the enemy area and that mine does 160 damage. It's a really beautiful number. Now we're gonna have to try some bad timing here. Just selecting chip even though my charge buster can take out the hard heads with better timing. And enemy deleted. Of course, I've tried several times in my last one of this and let me tell you, these things are very picky about actually giving you their chips. It says Sal's drink required for access. The Megman used Sal's link. Megman gained access. Now there's one more thing that I meant that I missed up on top if there's anything special there or that's the mystery data. And with that I'm gonna actually have to call this a long I'm gonna have to call this a recording. Anyhow, this has been all the pistol and I'm signing off. I will make up for that.